Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. So welcome to episode 10, can you believe it, 10 already, of the YouTube Shop Student, where a computer geek, that's me, uh, tries to learn how to machine using uh, machine tools. And uh, so in this episode, uh, we'll continue on with the uh, 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 captive nut puzzle project. Uh, we need to get to some threading. Uh, before I start though, hey, uh, just on a very, very serious topic, um, my brother-in-law, uh, my wife's brother, uh, goes uh, this Friday, uh, I think it's the 8th, um, to have both of his kidneys removed. Okay, uh, He's got polycystic kidney disease, he's uh, very, very low functioning, the kidneys are, and he's reached a point where they're uh, going to have to remove his kidneys, and uh, once they remove them, then he'll be on dialysis, obviously, and then... Um, uh, Hopefully, you know, they'll put him on a kidney uh, donor list. So, um, if uh, you're prone to believe, please say a prayer. Um, our family would appreciate it. So, um, anyway, I got a message from uh, one of my subscribers. says, hey, man, when are you going to finish this threading thing? You're killing me. He says, uh, you know, that made me think of a little Richard song. Of, what was it? I can't remember. Maybe I'm just making a little something from nothing. But anyway, um, I've got the gears uh, changed on the lathe for uh, 13 threads per inch if I haven't messed that up. Um, I've got my tool uh, not quite squared up, but I'll get it squared up before I bring the camera back in. And um, let's get this thing threaded and uh, maybe we can get the puzzle done tonight. So I'll catch you here in just a minute. Okay guys, I have uh, darkened the uh, uh, metal here with the sharpie so I can see the first cut. I have my tool on the center height uh, set square with uh, my piece using my fishtail. Uh, got the threading dial engaged. I got the gear set up to uh, 13 uh, threads per inch. And I have got my thread gauge here to check it. And I got some wire, so we're going to see how close. And I know I'm zoomed in here, so this stuff's probably ginormous on the screen. But anyway, I think we're ready. So let me get in here and just barely touch off and get everything set up. Okay, I've just uh, touched off there, barely. So I want to set my crossfeed collar to zero. Okay. I'm going to come over here barely. I'm just going to take a, a smidgen. And let's take a cut and see what we got. All right, we'll check that with a thread gauge. Get on my geezer goggles. And that is 13 threads per inch. All right. Now, let's cut some threads. Okay, I've made a few passes here. Now, if you wanted to test this nut, if you didn't have wires, I mean, if you wanted to test the thread and you didn't have wires, you could back the tailstock out, unscrew this and try a nut on it in, in that way. But now re recall when I said that um, I, uh, went to um, theoreticalmachinist.com, right, and had, uh, you know, put in a half 13 thread, and uh, I told it that I was going to use thread wires, and the wire that I'm going to use is 45,000, 
the 45 thousandths. Now, the uh, in order, and so it gives you what the measurement should be over the wire. So my maximum should be 517,000, and my minimum should be 512. So I'm not very good at this. Let me get the wires on the thread here and kind of see where we're at. We should be quite a ways out. This is one of those things where, you know, if God would have given us three arms, people may have laughed at us, but we definitely would have been handy, huh? All right, so let's see where we're at. I am at, looks like 550. 550 and I need to be at 516. So 0 0.550 minus 0 0.516. So I got another 34 thousandths to go. Let's see if I can set these wires down without losing them here. All right, so I'm going to take a few more passes and we'll measure again. All right, let's see where we're at now. Okay, so now we're at 536. Okay, so 536 minus 516. So we got about 20 thousandths. So let's take a little bit more. All right, let's go again. Okay, let's see, where are we now? Okay, so we're at five, 16 and a half. All right, so we are at the very top of the uh, uh, measurement, the largest, right? So I could, I could stop there, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a spring pass and see where, we're, where we end up. Okay, so in theory, the thread should be done, right? So let's uh, let's find out. Eh. Should have known that was going to be a tough one. Hang on, let me find something to squeeze on that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got this broke loose, and I'm going to pull this apart. I'm just going to test a regular half-13 nut on there. It goes on there. Very little play. So I guess that, uh, 
I guess that wire method works pretty good, doesn't it? So, of course, I need some practice at it. And I'll tell you this, for you other new folks, if uh, it, um, measuring with wires is a bit of a, a bit of a skill there because the, the holding the wires is uh, is uh, kind of a trick. So, all right, so. Let me uh, get the next tool ready and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the chamfer tool in here and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move my carriage to where I just touched the edge. Okay, that's it right there. Now I'm gonna get out the infamous poor man's dro. And I want a 63 thousandths chamfer there. Alright, so let's preload this. Get her set to zero. Okay, so we're going to chamfer 63. Now I do want to say this, that um, as this cuts, this gets pretty wide and it will chatter. There's probably a better way of doing this. And if somebody has a better way, please let me know. Okay, so that side's chamfered. Now I'm going to bring the tool over this side. By the way, this is where we are chamfering the exposed edges. And I'm going to bring it over here till it just touches. That's it right there. I'm going to preload my indicator here. A good little bit. And I'm going to set that on 63. Like so. And then I'll back it off and chamfer this side 63. And then finally we're going to catch this edge here and do the same thing. Okay, so with the three um, edges exposed, I mean exposed edges here all chamfered, uh, we're ready to part the puzzle off, and the uh, we're going to part it off to about three and a sixteenth inch. So um, let me pause the video and let me get my parting tool set up. So I'll catch you here in just a second. Okay, so um, I just took a uh, ruler and measured over to the edge backside edge of this here to uh, three and a sixteenth. 
the overall length of the puzzle is uh, is uh, three inches. So we're going to part this off. And get the tailstock here out of the way, and let's go at it. And there, and there it went. Easy as that. So hey. I will say this, well the tool is just a hair low, but they say better a little hair low than a hair high, right? Let me see if I can get this out of here without getting a... Alright, so <clears throat> there's the puzzle to this point parted off. <clears throat> so um, still has to be face the length and this side still has to be chamfer... Oh, I wasn't even in camera frame, sorry guys. So there's the uh, puzzle parted off, okay? and it uh, still has to be face the length okay and this end needs to be chamfered before this part's done but for now we're going to set this aside and we're going to concentrate back over here on this piece here all right so um we're going to face this off here just enough to clean it up so let me get my facing tool in there and i'll bring you right back and i'll check the camera angle Okay, so um, never mind that my neural is just absolutely butt ugly here, okay? Uh, I'm going to face this off just enough to clean it up because i got to have a half inch of this neural. This is why I knurled four inches um, in order to make the nut for the puzzle. So I'm going to face this off and then I'm going to set up the parting tool and we're going to cut this off um, just a, a little over a half inch long because it's supposed to be a half inch wide nut. So let's do that. All right, so that's faced off clean. Now, let me get my parting tool back in there and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so I have the parting tool in there and uh, we want to cut this over just a little over. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to use a ruler. Or, I'm sorry, a scale, right? And... about all I'm gonna get out of it right there. Alright, let me lock my carriage. Drop my drive speed down here. Okay, and let's part this off. Okay, so that's parted off. <clears throat> if I can find it down there in all them chips. Ha, huh. well you know, there it is. It's a uh, little warm. Let me set that right there. Can you see it there? Ah, well, you see it there. Okay, so let me get ready for the next bit here. I'll bring you right back. Okay, I got my facing tool in there. So at this point, we can remove our stock. And we need some soft packing, so we're going to finish the, uh, uh, finish the uh, body of the puzzle now. We're going to face the end of the length. And um, so we're going to what I've got is a piece of this is a three quarter inch piece of um, of uh, uh, copper tubing and let me pull this apart because all right I knew I'd get together sooner or later okay so I uh, got the puzzle pulled apart right here and I got a piece of uh, three-quarter inch copper tubing I'm just gonna stick that in there and I want to face this to length now here's the thing this doesn't have to be perfect and I really don't know how long this is so I'm gonna measure it and uh, kinda go from there so we know that this should be half inch wide and like I said there are probably much better ways to do this but hey look I'm a newbie I don't know better 
All right, so that is 586 thousands. 586, and we want it to be 500. So there's 86 thousands to come off. So how I'm going to do that is uh, I'm going to uh, put the put it in this piece of copper so I don't crush it. Get that in here, like so. All right, now I'm just gonna just barely. I'm gonna squeeze on that until it just starts to grab the nut. Or I mean the puzzle piece. Right there it is. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick. At least it's a trick for me. <clears throat> so I need to try to make sure that this is face is in there parallel or perpendicular to the bed. Okay, and to do that. I'm going to remove my dead center, okay, and I'm going to put in my Jacob's Chuck. And then I'm just going to bring this up, I'm going to snug this up just a little bit so the tailstock doesn't move, and I'm going to use the jaws of the Jacob's Chuck to just gently push on the piece just like that and tighten her up so now is that perfect no I guess I could put an indicator on it but it's not necessary for this it's just a puzzle all right so remember I said that I had to take off I think it was 86 thousandths if I remember right. So how I'm going to do that, so I'm just going to come up here <coughs> excuse me, and I'm just going to touch that up against there and I'm going to set up my dial indicator and then I'll know how much that I'm going to have to feed in. We said 86. So now, will this be perfect? No, but it'd be close enough to half inch that I care about. All right, all right. So we're turning here. Let me speed up the lathe. All right. Okay, so the puzzle has been faced off to length. Now, I want it to match the rest of it, so we're going to put a chamfer and we're going to center drill number three. So, back this out. All right. So it's center drilled. All right, let me. Uh, Let me get my uh, chamfering tool set up and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so I have the uh, chamfering tool in. We're gonna come up and just kiss this corner uh, right here. I guess you could see that. And uh, then I'm gonna set the uh, dial indicator on the carriage and then we'll come in 63 thousandths. All right, that's it. Got some chatter there, but I kind of expected that. All right. So, that concludes the main body of the puzzle. So we can take it out. All right. We'll thread it back on the other piece here. All right, so I mean, it needs a little bit of cleanup, but uh, probably should do something about the, all this chatter over here. I might put it, I'll put it back in later and file it. Um, 
So that's the main body of the puzzle is done. So uh, now to complete the nut. So let's get started on that. So let me uh, let me get set up and I'll bring you right back in. Okay. So I've put the nut in here just like I put the puzzle piece in here. Kind of pushed it in, squared it up with the uh, with the Jacobs chuck in the tailstock, and then clamped it down. So, uh, and the reason why I'm kind of getting in a hurry here is because I don't have much time left on my tape. I got about 15 minutes, so I'm going to try to get it all in here um, without having to stop and and start over. But we'll we'll see here. All right, so I want to face this off uh, just just enough to clean it up, and I want to chamfer it uh, 63, and then we're going to flip it around, and then I'll face it to length. Uh, center drill, drill, tap, the whole ball of wax. So let's 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 get on it. Okay, we've got it faced off. So let me put my chamfering tool in, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I got the chamfering tool in there. So again, we're just going to barely kiss this corner. We're going to set the uh, dial indicator, and then we'll come in and uh, toward the chuck, 63, uh, 63 thousandths or sixteenth of an inch uh, to make the chamfer on this corner. So let's get on it. Oh, so that's nice and chattery. So, hey guys, I'm looking for some tips on if you're making a wide chamfer like that, do I need to slow the uh, thing down even more, put it in back gears, uh, or what? But uh, anyway, that side's chamfered. Let me, uh, I'm gonna turn the nut around and uh, get it in position, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got this in here, got my uh, facing tool in, and uh, I'm just gonna barely touch on it, set my dial, I need to take 72 thousandths off of it. Uh, for it to be face length. So let's do that. Alrighty. So now we've got to chamfer it just like we did the other. So let me get my chamfering tool back in and I'll be right back. Okay, again, we're going to touch off and then we're going to move in 63 thousandths for the chamfer. Okay, so that side's chamfered. So now all that's left to do is uh, center drill, pilot drill, and drill with the uh, tape uh, tap size and tap this nut out. So I'll be with you here in just a minute. Okay, so we're ready to center drill, then we'll pilot drill, and then run the tap drill in and tap at half 13. Okay, everything's drilled, now we're ready to tap. So, let me get the tap and the wrench and let's get, let's do it. Okay, so I'm ready to tap. This tap wrench, by the way, was a gift from uh, make, uh, Richard for making something from nothing. Uh, Rich, thank you, sir. I, uh, it is coming handy. That is tapped. All right, so now I'm going to put in a uh, countersink. I'm just going to kiss that edge there and countersink the thread, and then I'll flip this around and do the other side. Okay, so I've got the countersink in here, and I'm just going to kiss this thread. Now, I'm going to flip this nut around and chamfer the other side. Alright, so let's take a good close look. So there's the nut. It's chamfered on both sides. Now it does have chatter. So I need to need to learn that. There's going to be a follow-up video to this here, just on some things that I've learned. So there's the puzzle, and of 
course this needs to be cleaned up and I'll do that but so there it is just like the drawing <clears throat> I got a I got some not burrs but some chips there so anyway there you have it um, so um, I'm gonna end this video here uh, I gotta clean this up um, but uh, like I said I want to do a follow-up video uh, on on this um, uh, talking about some of the things that I've learned and and some of the pitfalls that I fell into and that sort of stuff like get I'm a like I said I'm a beginning machinist and I'm trying to learn this stuff and um, uh, boy I've got a lot to learn uh, especially with knurling and, and some other things uh, so anyway thank you for watching thanks for taking the time to watch my videos I know some of them are long uh, but hopefully it helps uh, if there's another new person out there that it helps um, that's great and uh, uh, if uh, if you think they've helped and, and they'll help somebody else please share uh, like and subscribe and other than that have a blessed day